Why well, get through like 25% of this review and I wasn't even recording? All right, let's start over. <laughs> Roxanne, Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne. So, it's your boy DeAnthony coming at you with another review. Just watched the Netflix original Roxanne, Roxanne. So I kind of wanted to talk about it. You know, I think this is a, a piece of, of hip hop history and, you know, it should be talked about. So I was excited to see the movie because I've heard so much about this. I've watched like, I don't know if you guys ever seen Beef, the whole uh, hip hop beef docu-series that they had, um, talking about all the beefs in hip hop and the rap battles going back and forth. It's very, very good. Very good. If you guys haven't seen it, look that up. Beef, B-E-E-F. They have like parts one, two, three, one, two, three, maybe four, something like that. Um, great series. You know, so they talk about it, and the story is just captivating, to me anyway. Uh, I like to think I'm a little bit of a historian. Not not a historian, but I know a lot about the history. I've heard, or at least have researched, the history of hip-hop. Um, so, I, I can't just, like, give you dates and times and stuff like that. Um, people's names and everything like that, and when it happened, and where it happened. So I'm not a historian, but I'm familiar, let's say that. So when the, the movie came out, I was like, oh, this needs to be told. This is a great story to be told. I'm glad that she, you know, got a break on this, you know. Awesome. So if you don't know the story of Roxanne, Roxanne. So the, the, there was a song in the early 80s, Roxanne, Roxanne, by these three dudes, three or four, three dudes, that uh, were talking about this girl that they were trying to get at. Um, and they, she wasn't giving them no play. They all had reasons and, and scenarios of what happened. So she response to that song saying why she didn't want to get with none of them dudes so it was a it was a battle so then they respond with the real Roxanne and she says you know she's a real Roxanne this is what happened so then Roxanne Shantae which is what the what the movie is about she responds back with another song and it's just it's just a great great story um to me so i was excited to see it um let's kind of go over some now if you don't know what it's really about because I, I think most people don't know of this story you know so i think that it's a good thing that, that you guys do so let's kind of go over some now real quick in the early 1980s the most featured battle mc in queens new york was a fierce teenage girl with the weight of the world on her shoulders at the age of 14 Lolita Roxanne Shante Goodman was well on her way to becoming a hip-hop legend and she hustled to provide for her family while defending herself from the dangers of the streets and Queen's projects. So, um, that's a quick little synopsis. Uh, so she's 14. That's another thing. It's not just as a, it's that it's a woman MC. She's 14 years old, slashing down, cutting down, these male MCs, these adult male MCs. Like, I can't rap at at my age as an adult male. She rapping, killing it, 14 as a female. So that right there is like dope. Uh, so let's kind of go through who's in it because, you know, maybe you still don't, maybe you're not really that interested still. So let's go over who's in it, okay? Okay. Um, let's see here. So we got Nia Long plays her mom. To me, Nia Long's performance was almost up there where Monique's performance was in Precious. Like, I, she was so believable. I think this is the best acting role she's had so far. Uh, I think that if... I think Netflix should be able to, to win Oscars or be eligible for sure because they're still movies. They don't have to be on the big screen. It's still a movie. So I think that she should you know, at least have gotten some nomination for her role, because it was really, really good. Um, Mar Mahershala, Mahershala Ali, um, the dude from Moonlight, uh, the the dude that was in Hidden Figures, the the captain or what or whatnot, uh, or the military guy. Um, if you guys watched Luke Cage, he's Cottonmouth, uh, so he was in it. Um, let's see, who else is in it? I guess that's really that's really about it. And the up and up and comer, um, Shantae Adams plays Shantae, or Roxanne Shantae. She did a really good job too. Uh, it was it was 
everyone, it was a good cast. It was a good cast for sure. Uh, it was, you know, set in the 80s. And to me, it was very believable as far as it being in the 80s. The issues that they had was very believable, believable as far as being in the 80s. And it was something that <clears throat> resonated with me. You know, a lot of people like the Stranger Things is the 80s. You know, like they like all these, you know, it, the movie it because it's in the 80s, you know, but I don't resonate that much with it because that's not what my 80s look like. That's not what my neighborhoods look like. You know, my neighborhoods, I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up in, in South Central L.A., you know, so this whole happy-go-lucky um, uh, feel of the 80s, Breakfast Club 80s, is, is foreign to me. So those, I'm not able to enjoy as much as everyone else in the world. But this, I was able to really grasp and be like, dang, yep, yeah, that is how I was. Wow, man. You know, so it, it did resonate with me. How it starts off is great. You know, it goes from her being a little girl, you know, to a teenager. Um, it, it, it shows character development with her mom and why her mom was kind of ornery and bitter, um, you know, because her man stole her money, her down payment for her house. They were all ready to go, you know, to move into this new house. He was supposed to get the truck, and he took the down payment and, and bonked out. And, and from that moment... She was very bitter and very ornery, I feel like. And so that was a great character development, you know. And, and then it, it it shows how Shantae or Roxanne Shantae was thrown into being an adult. Because now she had to do everything. She had to provide for the money because her mom was depressed. She had to be a go-getter, you know, for her, her, her sisters or her younger sisters. You know, so everything is about money. What about that money? How much you going to pay me? How much I'm going to get? You know, so uh, I thought it was really good. Um, <clears throat> again, the acting was really was really great. It really just showed, you know, what black people went through in the 80s. You know, it, it was very, especially in, in Queens. Like, I, didn't, I, mean, I didn't grow up in Queens, but the black experience is pretty much the same all over the nation. So we're in the ghetto. We're impoverished. We got drama with each other, you know, and we're trying to survive. I mean, that's, that's all over, you know. So even though I'm not from New York, I was able to still relate to what was going on and what was happening. Nothing seemed far-fetched. Everything seemed real, realistic. Nothing seemed like, man, did that really happen? Nothing seemed like that, you know. So, and that's what I really like because sometimes some of these true stories, you're like, what? Dang, you know. Um, it showed, like, how the relationship the relationship between males and females, especially when we're competing against one another, you know, so a lot of the, the battle rappers did not want to battle her because they're like, this is a little girl. I'm not about to battle no little girl. And then she started rapping, and then it's over then. Then they're like, okay, well, fine. But she was still one anyway. Uh, so it, I thought it was, it was just, it was, it was a, a nice depiction of the times, I would say. Now, I do have some issues with it. You know, it wasn't a it wasn't a great movie, but it wasn't a bad movie. It was probably the movie that she wanted to make because I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure she produced it or at least wrote it because um, it's her story. But uh, I'm I'm sure she was involved. Is what I'm saying. She was involved in telling her own story. It's just that. I don't know if they just didn't have the rights to it or to like to some of the music that they were going to do or should have done. Um, not, I'm not sure if she just didn't want to tell that side. To me, this was a story about her coping as a, a real person on the streets versus her being an entertainer. Um, I personally would want to see her being an entertainer. I wanted to see the story that I actually got you know, played out on the big screen or, or movie, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this was just kind of more about how she dealt with that type of stuff at home. And though that should still be incorporated because it's still her story, it's not the most exciting story. It's not the reason why we even want to watch the movie in the first place. The reason why we want to watch the movie is because we saw or we heard of that song and we either experienced it or, you know, we were taught what happened through some type of documentary or whatever. So we want to see 
how it really played out. Because when you you watch an interview, it's only so much of the story they're going to tell. But when you got a movie, you can like really tell it all. And they didn't really put a lot of emphasis on the key moments and key uh, like points or uh, historical moments, I would feel. Like, you know, the whole Roxanne Roxanne the original song. Like, they didn't really put any emphasis on that being made first. I mean, it kind of did, but I think if you if you just clicked on Netflix and started watching this, you don't know what you're watching. You don't know, you know, and I think that's the part where they, they, they really should have shown up. They should have, like, been playing a song. They should have showed more rap battles, and this is me just as a fan. I don't mean to, like, be hating on the movie, you know, but, like, what I wanted to have seen, and, you know, she told the story she wanted to tell, uh, you know, that more power to her. Don't nobody want to hear my story. So, more power to her. But, as a fan, I would have liked to see more of the rap battles. I I would want to have seen more of the making of the song. I would want to see, um, like, you know, the, the, the original song kind of being made and going up in the charts. And then kind of like how she came back. And then they came back. And then she came back again. Like, I would want to hear all those songs. Like, the New Edition uh, biopic, the New Edition biopic, they actually sung the songs. They, in this movie, they kind of just referenced them a little bit. Like, they didn't have the rights to it. Like, it was like maybe like 20 seconds of the song. And then they moved on. And I'm like, wow, I don't want to see that. I, I mean, I want more. Oh, I want more. I need more because that's what I'm here for. And it just didn't deliver. It was okay, you know, to to hear her story. But I feel like this could have been like uh, the second story of hers. The first one needs to be more of her performing. Uh, More, like they had uh, Biz Marquis on there. They they did have Nas. Um, I would want to have seen their relationship and how they kind of interacted more. But it was just more about, like, her and her family and how they dealt with, you know, being, like, somewhat a celebrity. You know, and we didn't even really get on the radio. Like, she didn't even get on the radio until, like, maybe half of the movie was over. You know, so it was like, ah, man, when are we going to get to the good stuff? And, like, even at the end, you know, they kind of didn't, like, say why she didn't blow up or why she didn't want to go and do more things. Because, I mean, she was a dope MC. But there's no reason why she couldn't. And she's doing all this off the top of the dome. You know, she didn't write any of her her lyrics. So, like, she could have been killing it. You know, I would have wanted to know why. You know, was it just not for her? You know, she's had other ambitions. I would want to know. You know, and it didn't really really leave us with much. You know, it left us with, you know, a conclusion to that story of her and her life, you know, being at, at dealing with being the celebrity or, or dealing with real life stuff in uh, contrast to being a celebrity. And that's kind of what it was. You know, she did she she did live a difficult life. You know, she was she grew up in power. She was a booster. She, you know, would rap battle for money. Um she got with this dude that was, you know, whooping on her, you know, that was abusive. It was an interesting story, but it's not the reason why I came. You know, so and that's the thing that's the thing. I really wanted to see more you know, but I do have a favorite part. I thought again, Nia Long, very good job. The actress that played Roxanne Shante, very good job. Um, so I'm not trying to down it, but it's just what I would have rather had seen. Um, like even like the Tupac movie, like the Tupac movie. Even though people didn't, they said they didn't like it. Most people didn't even go see it. They just didn't go see it because someone else said they didn't like it, which I liked it. They actually played the songs. They had them perform. It was, it was. I was able to have some nostalgia. That's that's what I'm saying. There's no nostalgia to this movie, and that's the thing. Like it didn't. It didn't uh, speak to its audience. And the, the people who know of Roxanne Chante are the ones who want to feel that nostalgia where they were at when they heard the song, where they at were at when they first when it was first played. You know, when they when they heard the original song, when they heard the comeback, like. That's the things that we kind of want to feel, you know, and I wanted to get more out of the story because it's it's an interesting story. So, I'm not trying to bash it, 
But it could have been better. It could have been a great movie versus just an okay movie. You know, if you're not, if you don't have anything else to watch, you know, go ahead and hit play. It's it'll keep your attention. It's not like it's like, oh man, this is a hard watch. It's not a hard watch. It's an easy watch, but I just didn't get what I wanted out of it. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, now I did have a favorite part. My favorite part was a very artistic part uh, when they are there's a there's a scene of her screaming, and it goes through three different scenarios, which was dope to me. The first scenario was her, I guess, losing her virginity to her, her man. So she's screaming. And it just has like a face shot of her screaming. And then they go to her in the delivery room screaming. And then they go to her being dragged on the floor by her man screaming. So they went through three different, did three different points of time with the same face or whatnot. And I thought it was great. I thought that was a very good artistic move on, on their part. And I really liked That's my favorite part. Of the movie, uh, except for like all the parts of Nia Long, her Nia Long is fine, yo, still fine right now. At whatever age she is, she can get it. I'm just saying, Nia, you look good. You did a really good job. I want to see you in some more stuff. I want to see the little girl that played, uh, I guess Shantae. What is her name? Shantae. Shantae Adams. I want to see her in some more stuff. Um, of course, the guy who played Cross. Mahershala, Mahershala Ali, um, he's always good. He always has that menacing smile, you know. Um, so I was definitely down to see him. Uh, I wanted to definitely see him in some more, some more things. Uh, but that's 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 my that's my review, guys. I just wish there were some good parts, but it's not what I think most people want to see. It's not what I think most people are expecting. So. That there's that issue. But as far as like her going through her, her life, and I don't want to give any spoilers, which is why I'm not telling you any details, but the things that she goes through in her life, I think most black people would be able to relate to. Um, and I think that we all should see it and support it. Just don't expect it to be, you know, what you think it's going to be. It's not It's not like the, the New Edition story. It's not like the Tupac story. It's not like that, okay? It's not like the Biggie uh, was what was the Biggie movie? Um, what was the Biggie movie? Oh, Notorious. And I like Notorious. So just sit back and just 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 watch a movie about how she dealt with being a celebrity, how she dealt with you know trying to or having to be an adult before she should have. So all right, guys, that's my review. Let me know what you thought. Is it something that you did you feel the same way? Was it something that you know? You, was it what you expected? Am I tripping? Did I expect too much? Uh, let me know what you guys think. I would definitely try to comment on every, or as many comments as possible. I will, will reply. All right, guys, your boy DeAnthony. Uh, check, take a look at our other things that we do. Take a look at our uh, comedic commentary, doing commentary on movie scenes, and you're going to love it. You're gonna, if you watch the movie, you're going to like what you see. If you haven't watched it, it's probably a spoiler, but you still might like it. Uh, so just check it out and uh, I'm out baby. Peace